We are announcing um, the re uh, a release of a video that we were able to capture uh, of uh, wild Atlantic salmon spawning. And uh, this is pretty cool because this is, I think, the first time that we've actually seen wild Atlantic salmon spawning. It's ever been captured in North America. This is happening right below uh, a gold mine, a proposed gold mine, uh, that threatens to, uh, you know, harm uh, this iconic species. We came back to uh, the camera we had uh, set um, on that bed in in that brook and uh, we had been off doing other things and we pull it out and we always check as soon as we pull a camera out we look and uh, we saw that for about five minutes a large female had been there and it was we were absolutely ecstatic I mean there was no better place to get that footage and it was very high quality footage it, it's very clear what she's doing she's turning on her side she's using her big tail to um, get that substrate out of the way to make that egg pit. One of the main risks is, is, the, is the concern about that uh, the mine is going to bring up uh, toxic materials. Uh, they're going to bring them up to the surface and uh, those can get into the water water quality and they can uh, they are they are toxic. They can they can kill fish and they can disrupt the life cycle and destroy the habitat. The mining industry certainly uh, has progressed uh, from what it was. Um, you know, they like to tout it's not your grandfather's mine, um, but you know, it, it it was very very toxic in the past. They were they were openly pouring mercury and, and other toxic compounds uh, into the water stream, and there was no sort of containment. They made strides there, but it's they're still using these toxic compounds. They're still bringing up toxic compounds. Uh, and, and a lot of their treatment just involves holding it, and they have to hold it in these tailing impoundments forever. Uh, you know, and that's not something humans are really good at, is holding things forever and, and keeping it there forever to prevent it from eventually mixing in. And, and as we look around, we're seeing examples of these things fail uh, you know, across the country, across the world.